Canadian Natural Resources Limited Canadian Natural Logo. SVG Type Public Company Traded as TSX, CNQ NICE, CNQ SP TSX 60 Component Industry Oil and Gas Founded Calgary, Alberta, 1973, Headquarters Calgary, Alberta Key People Steve Lott, President Tim S. McKay, COO Murray Edwards, Chairman of the Board Revenue $17.945 billion CAD, 2013, before royalties, one number of employees 6,621, December 2013, website www.cnrl.com Canadian Natural Resources Limited or CNRL or Canadian Natural, is an oil and gas exploration, development and production company with its corporate head office in Calgary, Alberta. Along with its core area Western Canadian Sedimentary Basin, WCSB, 2, CNRL also has North Sea and offshore West Africa fields. By 2011, with the production of 121,000 barrels, 19,200 cubic meters, CNRL was Canada's largest oil company and Canada's single biggest conventional heavy oil producer. 3 by 2009 CNRL ranked number 251 on the Forbes Global 2000 list 4 CNRL is one of the largest independent crude oil and natural gas producers in the world, with its head office in Calgary, and operations focused in the Western Canadian Sedimentary Basin Notes 1 to the North Sea and offshore West Africa. Contents 1 Operations 1.1 Western Canadian Sedimentary Basin, WCSB 1.1.1 Natural Gas 1.1.2 Heavy Crude Oil 1.1.3 Pelican Lake 1.1.4 Thermal In Situ Oil Sands 1.1.5 Light Crude Oil and NGLs 1.2 Horizon Oil Sands 1.3 International 2 History 2.1 Accidents 2.2 Recent News 3 Trading 4 Corporate Governance 4.1 Notes 5 Citations 6 References 7 External Links Operations Corporate Headquarters Resides in Calgary Alberta. It operates field offices in Alberta, British Columbia, Saskatchewan as well as international offices in Gabon, Côte d'Ivoire and Aberdeen, Scotland. Canadian Natural is the largest oil and gas producer in Canada as of Q2 2014. Western Canadian Sedimentary Basin, WCSB, According to their own website Canadian Natural has the largest undeveloped base in the Western Canadian Sedimentary Basin, WCSB, dot 5 CNRL's North America assets include conventional and unconventional natural gas, along with projects in crude oil, including primary, secondary and tertiary light, medium and heavy production, in situ oil sands, and oil sands mining 5 natural gas according to their own website Canadian Natural is the largest independent producer of natural gas in Western Canada. 5. They have natural gas assets which are strong, leveraged by a vast land base, well-developed infrastructure and a deep, diversified inventory of drilling prospects. Conventional and unconventional natural gas production is concentrated in five North American core regions, Northwest Alberta, Northeast British Columbia, the Foothills, the Northern Plains and the Southern Plains. 5. According to their own website Canadian Natural continues to access and develop new natural gas opportunities, focusing on growing an already strong location inventory and optimizing existing production. 5. Heavy crude oil According to their own website Canadian Natural is the largest producer of heavy crude oil in Canada with a competitive advantage through its vast land base. 5. According to their own website 6. The company targets primary, secondary and tertiary recovery of heavy crude oil and thermal in situ recovery of bitumen. Canadian Natural's primary heavy crude oil operations are centered on the Alberta-Saskatchewan border, near the city of Lloydminster. The company's extensive and dominant land base allows them to conduct large-scale drilling and development programs while minimizing capital cost requirements. Costs are further managed through owning and operating centralized treating and sand handling facilities, maximizing their utilization and using their size to achieve economies of scale. Infrastructure includes five crude oil processing facilities and four salt caverns for solids disposal. 
Ownership of the Echo Sales Pipeline allows Canadian Natural to be the only producer capable of delivering undiluted heavy crude oil into blending facilities at Hardesty, Alberta. CNRL 2014, Pelican Lake According to their own website 7 Pelican Lake is a large, shallow crude oil pool in the Northern Plains core region, estimated to contain 4.1 billion barrels of original oil in place on Canadian natural land. Although initially developed for primary production, the company started converting portions of the field to water flood in 2004, resulting in a significant production increase which reversed the previous three years of production decline. Building on that success, the company began testing polymer flooding in 2005. This enhanced oil recovery technique has proven to be much more effective than water flooding and as such, the company is converting more of the field to polymer flood. CNRL 2014 Thermal in situ oil sands Canadian Natural holds some of the best thermal in situ oil sands assets in Canada, providing tremendous value and growth potential. Our thermal assets are located in two of the major oil sands deposits in western Canada the Athabasca and the Cold Lake deposits. Eight Canadian Naturals oil sands deposits are in the form of bitumen, which in its natural state is too viscous to flow. When bitumen is too deep, greater than 80 m, to economically mine, steam is injected to warm the bitumen, reducing the viscosity and allowing it to be pumped through surface wells. Only about 7% of Canada's oil sands can be mined, the majority has to be recovered using thermal in situ recovery 8 light crude oil and NGLs Canadian natural produces light crude oil and NGLs in all of its western Canadian core regions. The majority of these pools are mature but recovery factors are still modest. The majority of Canadian Naturals light crude oil pools are produced under water flood which provide relatively high ultimate recovery factors with low production decline rates. All of these projects are low risk but do require rigorous geological and engineering analysis in order to be successful 9 Horizon Oil Sands See main article Horizon Oil Sands Canadian Naturals largest operation to date is the Horizon Oil Sands project which is located 75 km north of Fort McMurray, Alberta. The Horizon Oil Sands include a surface oil sands mining and bitumen extraction plant, complemented by on-site bitumen upgrading with associated infrastructure to produce high-quality SCO. Canadian Natural holds extensive leases that are estimated to contain approximately 14.4 billion barrels of bitumen initially in place, BIIP, with best estimate contingent resources other than reserves of 4.1 billion barrels of bitumen and 3.3 billion barrels of proved and probable SCO reserves. The Horizon Oil Sands are located on these leases just north of Fort McMurray, Alberta in the Athabasca region. Due to the massive resource base, the mine and plant facilities are expected to produce for decades to come without production declines normally associated with crude oil production 10 Canadian Naturals Board of Directors sanctioned the Horizon Oil Sands project in February 2005 and after years of planning and construction, the Horizon Oil Sands successfully and sustainably produced its first barrels of high quality, low sulfur, 34 degrees API, sweet synthetic crude oil, SCO in early 2009. 10. The company targets to see incremental production gains throughout the completion of future expansion and debottlenecking, with targeted full facility capacity of approximately 250,000 BBL D. Further phases of expansion could potentially bring the ultimate capacity to 500,000 BBL D. 10. International International operations remain a strategic part of Canadian Naturals business providing a stable and committed source of light crude oil production. The company concentrates efforts in two core areas, the United Kingdom portion of the North Sea and in offshore Africa. In the North Sea, attention is focused on managing existing infrastructure in a mature basin which leads to field life extension. With a solid inventory of drilling prospects, the North Sea provides significant resource potential in a low-risk environment. In offshore Africa, the company enjoys excellent relationships with the governments of Cote d'Ivoire and Gabon, providing unmatched competitive advantage over other local operators. Providing some of the highest returning projects in the company, the offshore Africa assets continue to generate significant free cash flow as it provides considerable light oil growth 11 history in 1988, 
Canadian Natural was heavily in debt due to a combination of excessive leverage in late 1970s and early 1980s, and the collapse of oil prices in 1986. It was forced into a restructuring that saw the majority of its geographically scattered assets sold. It employed nine people, produced about 1,400 barrels, 220 cubic meters, of oil equivalent per day and had a market capitalization of about $1 million. Through growth and acquisitions, it has grown to approximately 8,000 employees, production of over 817,000 barrels of oil equivalent per day and a market capitalization of approximately $45 billion 12 accidents in late November 2014. A CNRL pipeline spilled almost 60,000 litres of crude oil into a muskeg region in northern Alberta, located roughly 27 kilometres from Red Earth Creek 13 2014 was a poor safety year for CNRL. 14 Recent news In November 2015, the firm announced it would sell most of its royalty assets to Prairie Sky Royalty Ltd for around $1.80 billion 15 trading Canadian Naturals common shares are listed on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol CNQ and under the Toronto Stock Exchange as CNQ and CNQU which denotes trading in U.S. funds. Corporate Governance Canadian Natural is a limited liability, publicly traded corporation. Current members of the Board of Directors are, Catherine M. Best, and Murray Edwards, Honorable Gary A. Philman, Ambassador Gordon D. Giffen, John G. Long Gilly, Steve W. Lott, Keith A. J. McPhail, Honorable Frank J. McKenna, James S. Palmer, Eldon R. Smith and David A. Tour.